So there are some important Windows 10 settings whenever you get into streaming that can affect OBS negatively or positively. And I wanted to clarify some things, just some of my personal findings experimenting with this because you've heard information both ways if you look for some of the settings and what they need to be set out. And I wanna explain some of that today and give you an idea of what you need to play with. So first things first, for OBS Studio, we've been pulled back and forth with what the settings need to be because used to, there are three settings in particular that need to be turned off. Game bar, game DVR captures, or game mode. Of course, we're talking about Windows 10 features. So in every case, we want to disable game bar because what we're trying to do here is turn off anything integrated into Windows that may try to steal resources or duplicate behavior that OBS Studio needs to do itself without something else messing around with it. So first things first, click your start button. You will go to settings. Then you'll go to gaming. And each of these options we're gonna look at is in here. For your Xbox game bar, you always want that turned off. Now there's, I don't know of any debate telling you otherwise with this. We just always want that off so that it's not trying to you know, utilize your NVIDIA encoder if you're using NVIDIA in particular or any of those resources. So if you have that on, turn that off. Next section we're gonna to go to is game and DVR captures. So that's capture section right here. We're gonna go here. Again, you have OBS Studio that you're using or Streamlabs, this can work for slobs too. So you don't want this on. You don't want it to be caching or any chance of it using any resources in the background. So you just wanna make sure right here, background recording, you wanna make sure that is turned off. Now, the main setting we're gonna look at is game mode. Now game mode has been back and forth. So originally for the longest time, it was always said, hey, you need to turn game mode off. It just needs to be off and you need to run OBS as administrator. And for the longest time, that's the way it's been. That's the way I've done it. So I was still doing that up until recently. But if you'll read through here and you can see, and we're not gonna read all of this, how there's so much confusion because every time there would be a Windows update, you know, every so often something would change. Like, okay, wait, wait, wait. Now that you're running this version of Windows, now we need to turn it on. If it's newer, it's off, turn it on. Because so the idea is supposedly Microsoft fixed this to where game mode, which previously prioritized your game resources above everything else. Problem being, it also prioritized it above OBS. So when OBS is trying to fight for resources to stream, game mode was saying no, I need all those resources for gaming. And then that would cause you lag, stutter, all kinds of issues. So that was the original problem. So OBS folks worked with Microsoft. Supposedly Microsoft had it figured out as of update 1809. It says, okay, we've got it figured out. We've got OBS included, you know, for this prioritization to where it's okay now, turn game mode on. So then you'll see several big YouTubers and stuff that give advice or you'll hear, you know, through Reddit or wherever else you're trying to figure out these problems. The new recommendation is like, well, actually you don't need to run OBS studio in admin mode anymore. And actually nowadays you do need to turn on game mode. Here's my experience because even this is dated. I, this entire time have just left mine alone running in admin mode with game mode turned off, all of these settings turned off. And I decided recently like, well, maybe I need to test this out. Let's see what's happening. So my personal experience, I run it out of administrator mode, turned off, just regular OBS, just launched and I enabled game mode. Whenever I did that for the games that I've tested, I've had very strange stuttering issues and it was, it was really weird the way it was trying to balance resources because what was happening, 
I actually was not getting an encoder overload error message in OBS, but I was having all the stutter and stuff on stream as if I would. And so I saw that recently myself. So I wanted to make sure I'm like, man, I need to make a video and make sure people know this because generally whenever I'm telling you, you know, Hey, here's how you troubleshoot. We, whenever we have a stutter issue, generally we're going to see an encoder overloaded message. Well, this is actually a scenario where you'll have that actual issue, but you OBS, I think it's fine and doesn't have an overloaded encoder message. So what I ended up doing is going back to my current settings. That has always worked for me, no matter what, because what we're doing in this situation is we're depending on Microsoft to handle it and let everything be okay. And my experience, the way things should work with Microsoft and the way they say they work, do not consistently work that way. So my recommendation still to this day, regardless of what anyone else says, I beg you to please at least just try this. If you're having those issues, it doesn't hurt to experiment. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free to change. You can turn on game mode and run OBS outside administrator and just see how it does for you and then go and test it the other way. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and see what version, and there's several different ways you can do this, but the clickable easy way, to see what version of windows you are on. You can open this PC, right click properties and you'll see you'll look in here and you'll see i'm on version 20 h2 so you just see what version you are you should be able to update you may have some updates if you haven't updated your pc in a while and at least as of this this is a version that i've tested this on windows 10 20 h2 and this is one where i have those issues and it's still for me seems way better to just turn game mode off. So what we're going to do again, we're going to go to start settings, gaming, and the final option, the final area is game mode. And we're just going to turn that off. That's my recommendation going forward. That's what has consistently worked for me throughout all this, you know, being jerked back and forth on, well, you need to turn it on now or whatever. Just don't bother with it. If you're having issues, just do this. And then the last thing you're going to do. So I've got a shortcut to OBS right here. You can have a shortcut to OBS anywhere. You may not have it in your system tray. You may have it on your start menu. You may have it on your desktop, wherever it is. You can right click, just go to the properties of it. So whenever you get that to come up, you want to go into the properties of the shortcut. Now, one way you can launch as administrator is you can right click and you can run as administrator. That's certainly one way to handle it, but you have to remember to do that every time. We can go in the properties of the shortcut. We can go to compatibility on that tab right there. And then you can just check that box right here that says run this program as an administrator. And if you'll check that box and apply, well then every time you do this going forward, OBS Studio will always launch as administrator. So I hope that helps someone out. This video may not be the most popular among some other people. I'm, I am fully expecting to get some people to show up in the comments. If anyone sees this video is like, well, this big YouTuber here says otherwise or whatever, just try it for yourself. It's the best thing you do is just try it for yourself. It costs you nothing. Who knows? There may be some, some other games that I haven't tested. I mean, I didn't test all the games, just the games that I do to give you an idea of some of the games I do. I do stuff like division two, all up 76 elder scrolls online. Just try it. I'm betting that since you run as administrator, you're going to have far fewer issues, no matter what you do. I've always just had better luck with that. Anyway, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this has helped you at all. Again, the biggest issue I saw was like this was causing me issues where I would have frame rate stutter, yet I wouldn't have any error messages in OBS. OBS thought it was fine. It was, it was such a strange issue when game mode was turned on. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Again, 
if you want to hang out sometime just talk about streaming or whatever if you catch me online i stream on classic caleb streams i do also stream on twitch as well if you want to catch me ask questions we have a discord check out classic it has all my contact info other resources there hope this has been helpful to you